Is living close to the mountains something that you dream of? If so, then you're gonna wanna see this home tour of this home built by Lennar. Welcome back to another Las Vegas home tour. My name is Nishari Gamino and showing you the world of real estate in fabulous Las Vegas is my number one passion. My team and I are here every day to assist you with all your real estate needs. So please feel free to reach out whenever the time is right for you. All right guys, let's come on in and get this tour started. So this Lennar home features a little bit over 300, excuse me, 3,000 square feet. And as you walk originally down the hall, you'll be greeted by the first guest bathroom to the left. So this model is a two-story model. And as you walk in through the front door down the very short hall then, you will be greeted by the living room and then the kitchen over to your left. And I always think it's such a great concept that they put the kitchen area in direct view of the living room where the TV usually is because, you know, you could keep, keep watching those cooking shows or, you know, whatever program or movie or Netflix series that you're watching as you're busy in the kitchen running back and forth. People. What do you think about this table? The wicker chair is a little bit of an outdoor vibe for me, but I like it. And then stainless steel appliances with the gas stovetop in the kitchen, microwave above with plenty of storage. Follow me this way. So the multi-gen or as they call the next gen homes really have this feature of a whole nother living space within the home. So this is still on the first floor. And as you can see, it opens up into a small living room, enough to fill it, fit a, a decent sized table and a little kitchenette over here. If you're curious about what a next gen home or a multi-generational home is, this is a great example of one. So what it does, what the design of this home does is it allows older generations and families to cohabitate with the, the younger generation. So if you have an elderly grandparent or parent, they can still kind of claim their independence and have their own section of the house. It overall is a great concept to go along with the kitchen and the living room. There is a bedroom with a good size closet and the very own restroom. And another cool thing about being located on the first floor is you get your very own entrance to the backyard. A lot of desert landscaping with very low maintenance. Also a great space if you wanted to add on a pool, if you wanted to put a gazebo. The, it, and it's, it really is a great size. Patio is always important. We've seen a lot of outdoor kitchens being installed. And there's even, when I first toured this home, I thought it was a great idea to put a spa over in this corner. Or maybe even just some nice patio furniture. Definitely a space, an outdoor space to enjoy. And from this space, I do want to point out that there is your own private entrance. And it is, well, come with me out this way. It does lead from the side of the house. And comes up. So the, the main entrance to the house would be right over there. Okay, welcome back to inside the house. Come on in. As I did mention before, this one is a two-story home, so we're going to head back up towards the front door. There is a staircase that takes us to the top floor. Come along. So there is one entire living quarters below. As you come up the stairs, you're going to be greeted by a loft. And on this side, another cool feature about this home is the fact that there is an outdoor balcony. There's actually two of them on the top floor. Check it out. 
you could get very creative with this space for sure. So as we head over to this side from the loft area, it's really neat that they've kind of separated this center to be where the three bedrooms are. And then the primary is actually going to be catty corner to this on the other side. So here's one very good sized bedroom. And it is separated by a restroom. So on the other side of that restroom, you'll find the second bedroom upstairs. Very nice little lighting up there. I like that. And then as we head down the hall here, you'll find that this room is going to be a little bigger and it's also going to have its very own walk-in closet aside from its own bathroom. The decor in here is really pretty. I think the designers did a good job. What do you think, Keiko? Good. You head back down the hall, you will find that the primary bedroom is going to be right over here. So as we come up the steps, it's the immediate left. But before that, you're greeted with the laundry room. Very spacious, lots of room for storage. The cabinets behind you make me happy. The primary bedroom is the one that has the other balcony that's located on the other side of the house. So there's two. Oh, dang it. Well, we can't see it because it's blocked for good reason. But as you step closer, you can see that you have another view towards one side. So if you want kids or family to be on one side, you can be on the other or vice versa. You could have just so a plethora of options for you to choose from as far as what to do where, gaming centers, um, do you want to have a little relaxation station? And as we head over here, you will find the primary bathroom. Pretty hot. Tubs in the corner, very spa-like. And I know people always like the, well, no, people have a difference of opinion as far as closet space. Some like a small size, some like a big size, like this one. Some would say this is too small. It really just depends. That concludes today's home tour of Lennar's next gen slash multi-generational home tour. If you like what you saw today, please comment below in the description. If this house isn't something that you're feeling, but you would like to see something different, please reach out to me or drop that in the comment below. My contact information will be in the description and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Cut that. This one is a favorite of mine. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to turn it off. Perfect. Ah, oh, jeez, that's a fumble. Uh, shoot, let's start that again. <laughs>